Good evening or good afternoon. Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com. And I want to look at Focus Financial Partners. Big, huge volume today. Um, nice breakout. Uh, we put this on the active trade list um, today after the stock broke out. Um, to, frankly, got in it a little bit late, later than I would have liked. But I really like the way the stock broke out. It had been trading sideways, you know, right around here. 41 bucks, I'd say, was resistance. Made a series of higher lows. Um, if you look at the Bollinger Bands here, um, the little pink thingies here, um, they're, they're pretty tight, and that's what we want to see. We want to see um, tight Bollinger Bands, and then we see the stock um, trading along like this. So it traded uh, pretty decisively in the upper half of the Bollinger Band complex. That's from the 20-day moving average up until uh, the upper band. So it's finally broken out above that today, and as I look at the weekly chart, um, I can see, you know, it's it's still an IPO is how you got to look at it from 2018. Um, I can see this stock having broken out above here. This is a, you know, a little bit wider range here. This has some room to move and um, I would look at it and and kind of have a price target. It might be a little bit aggressive, but I would have a price target of 50 bucks on this. Again, this is a weekly chart, so I ain't talking about tomorrow or even next week. But if you look at the way this stock is trading, the way that it really came up today out of this, um, out of this congestion, this is a stock that definitely has some room to move. Now, you're not going to get this till after hours. So I'll just say this. If the stock pulls back a bit tomorrow, that's a gift. That's a gift, and I think um, you got to look at it and make sure that it holds above, like we'll say, above 41, right around there. You really want it to hold there. Otherwise, if it falls lower than that, you kind of have to consider it to be a failed breakout. And we are in this market, even as even though the indexes are moving higher, we are seeing an increased number of failed breakouts, um, and that's a you know that that's an issue because if you buy a breakout and it fails, it costs you money. So we don't want to do too much of that. The reason I feel extra confident about this is because of this volume. This is heavy institutional volume. It doesn't mean everything because we've seen it in the past where you got big volume here and then the stock ultimately falls back. But we have to look at this as a real bullish sign. So I think that's something um, that you should consider. Anyway, um, that's it. Look, if you haven't uh, joined Stock Market Mentor, you really want to do that. Um, you know, we're making some good trades over there. Um, a lot of teaching, a lot of education going on, and I'm getting a lot of feedback um, from our members that they're doing well, even though the market has been essentially trading sideways and choppy. So uh, a lot of our, our members have their accounts at all time highs, again, even now. So um, check it out. First 30 days is on me. All right, take care. See you next.